Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie and I appreciate you stopping by today. Wanted to talk to you about that one thing that everybody tells me they are looking for in a partner. It's so much a thing that everybody says that it's got its own acronym now. G-S-O-H. Have you seen this yet? Great sense of humor. <laughs> You've definitely mentioned this to somebody yourself on your dating profile that you have to be dating somebody who's got a great sense of humor. People tell me all the time that's at the top of their list. It's a priority. Studies say eh, it's not really all that important. Other studies say it's really not that important in terms of future happiness with a partner either. However, there are some ways that humor come into play in a relationship that are rather interesting and I thought I would share those with you as well. If that's at all intriguing, I hope you'll stick around because that great sense of humor, that's what's on the agenda. So statistically, does a great sense of humor matter? No, not really, but it makes things more fun where things might last longer because things are sometimes more pleasant and lighter. Put that in there and set that aside. Number one though, is that most people don't want a jokester. They don't want someone who's constantly on and telling jokes. Obviously somebody who's great at doing voices or telling a joke and will tell one in a social situation, that's charming. But somebody who's known as the person who's always telling jokes and it's happening multiple times at, in social situations, a lot of people find it embarrassing, but some people just find it just not appealing. So if you're the jokester and you enjoy that part of your own personality, awesome. But if you're out with a new partner, you may want to just check in with them and make sure that they feel comfortable with you saying, hey, everybody look at me. It's great if you can tell a great joke. It's definitely a skill I don't have. My dad had that skill. He was amazing telling a joke and doing the voices. But it would have been too much if he was doing it, you know, five jokes in a night. We got one per get together, typically. That to me seems ideal. You've got to figure out what works for you and let your jokester partner know what that looks like. Humor also matters in that it's really important, I think, in order to be able to find the humor in all different types of situations, especially tense situations, embarrassing situations, ones where you can just break away from feeling uptight or anxious and realize the ridiculousness and allow yourself and your partner to look at each other and just lose it, right? Crack up and give in to the humor. That's a beautiful thing. And if you have a personality and your partner has a personality where you can do that together, that's fantastic to be able to find the humor in situations. So it's not just heaviness all the time. It's like looking for the positives, but looking for the humor. It's really healthy and it'll take you a long way in being well adjusted. It, you may have heard me say before that I am not a big fan of sarcasm. And if you do research on humor in relation to, they'll often reference that sarcasm is teasing humor, making fun of someone or aggressive humor. And you know that I'm just not a fan at all. I don't like that. I think it's mean. I think it's kind of leans towards the nasty and I just don't think it's funny. And a lot of people will say my love language is sarcasm. And if you find somebody whose love language is also sarcasm, good for you. But I thought this was interesting for all of us to know. It undermines trust and promotes disconnection. So it's not something that brings people together. It's something that pulls them apart and it makes the whole relationship feel less reliable. The other person feel like a less reliable partner. I thought that was interesting. So if you're on the fence about sarcasm, and you don't really like it, but you meet somebody who is, just tell them it's just not your thing. You may save yourself some problems down the road if it's something you're not really fond of anyway. Number four, women say and are typically attracted to men who are funny, funny men, and men are typically attracted to women who think they are funny. <laughs> So that's where humor comes into play with a couple of men. Men aren't typically looking for a woman who's funny, but they want her to think that they are. And women enjoy a man who can make her laugh. Number five, uh, people looked for a partner with a good sense of humor for many years because they believed that that was a quality or a trait that would get passed on to their children and they would have children that were bright. 
I definitely believe and have seen that a great sense of humor gets passed on in the genes. So some people think it's important because they are thinking further ahead to their offspring. Interesting. Hey, it's me interrupting my own episode just to remind you that I have two free guides available to you and the link to get them sent directly to your email is down below in my description box. One is the meeting people in the real world guide, which is all about how to approach people, how to ask people out, how to flirt, how to prepare for a date. What do you do afterwards? Really comprehensive like 50 page guide I wrote. The other one, really simple, 33 great questions for dating. So those are free and I hope you will take advantage of them being there. I didn't know if you knew they were there and I just wanted to make sure. Now we can get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Number six, I wanted to mention that what we think we like and what we actually prefer don't always line up. And that is where humor falls into the dating list of must-haves and qualities that we're looking for. People always say a good sense of humor, but as a matchmaker, introduce them to somebody who's a really great person, but I don't know if they had a sense of humor or not. And the person comes back and says, we had a great time. He's super nice. Humor never comes up in the conversation of feedback. You know, for me as a matchmaker, one of the harder things can be to gauge somebody's sense of humor. Sometimes it's very obvious. Somebody gets on and they have a great lightness about them. They say something amusing or funny and I'm laughing in the first minute. Other times I notice that they just laugh at everything I'm saying that is amusing. And I think, oh, I don't know if they're funny, but they definitely have a sense of humor. Sometimes I'm not that witty and they're not. You know, we've talked for a half an hour. I have no clue whether or not they have a good sense of humor. I can ask, right? Do people tell you is a sense of humor important to you? And do people tell you that you have a good sense of humor? But it's one of the harder things to gauge under some circumstances if it just doesn't come to light. But interestingly, it's something that we say that we want to have and it doesn't really matter all that much whether we get it because it doesn't lead to our happiness when you read the follow-up studies to that. I wanted to mention that I thought it was interesting that having a great sense of humor did not necessarily make you more attractive to the person that was dating you. And so attractiveness and humor don't really go hand in hand. According to some of the studies that I found, you would think that maybe if someone says, I really want somebody who's got a great sense of humor, that it makes the person even more attractive, but it doesn't seem to work that way. They're attractive on their own and the sense of humor is an add-on or a lacking quality depending on the person and the match. So I thought those were some interesting takes on the fact that everybody I speak to must have a partner with a great sense of humor. Now do me a favor, would you? In the comment section, give me your top three priorities in a partner. What are the top three things, your must haves? If we were working together, I was your matchmaker, what are the top qualities that I'm looking for in a partner that I'm going to match you with? thought that would be really interesting and we'll see how many of you don't cheat and pull out sense of humor just because we've had this conversation it'll be interesting to see how many of you have sense of humor in your top three I bet you a lot of you because in my clients it shows up more often than not appreciate you stopping by mom says a thumbs up would be super nice of you to do for us and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then the ring bell of course lets you know every time a new episode goes live here on youtube i look forward to seeing you back again soon and until next time thanks again and have a good one